because this line is laid line, it has a tendency to want to coil in a certain direction. So what we try to do, it's made with three strands of line, one strand's twisted one way, the second strand's twisted in the second way, and the third strand's twisted back like the first strand. So it has what we call memory in it. It has a tendency to want to turn in the same way all the time. In that case, it's clockwise. And so whenever we're coiling this line, we always want to coil it clockwise. So what if we do that with the deck of it? We make what we call a working coil. And we make that coil as neat as I can in a clockwise fashion, like this. Typically on tall ships, or ships that have a lot of line on them, that's used, the running rigging that's used to handle the, the big long booms or the, the big sails and stuff like that, you would have a whole lot of line. There's different ways to coil it. This particular circular coil that we have going here is called a working coil. It's nothing but just the line being coiled on top, one coil on top of the other, and for the entire length of the line straightforward so if the if the line has to be pulled out it comes right off the top just like that and hopefully it doesn't cheat. Okay just like this hopefully it comes out free. Now there's another now method of coiling the line called a Valentine. And some of you may remember the old Valentine deer. Um, it had a symbol on it that had three sort of overlapping circles. And that's the the way that is that's particular coiling technique called the Valentine. It was named for the old Valentine beer commercials and the Valentine logo was this method of coiling lines and I'm going to show you that. It starts out with a circle and then it goes to a circle on top of the circle, comes around as one lobe of the Valentine, then it makes another one on top of that, then it makes a third one on top of that one. And so what we're going to do now is we're just going to repeat that. One Valentine, this is one ear of the Valentine. Second year of 